Hello and welcome to the Design Make Play Show. I'm Sarah and I'm an illustrator and designer at Zen Maker Lab. And today we're gonna do an ink exercise that can help us create characters from scratch. So let's get started. So what is the point of doing this ink exercise? Well, oftentimes we don't always have a starting point of what our character is going to be or what they're going to look like um, when we're creating a story or an animation or a comic strip. So this exercise can really help us have a starting point in getting those creative juices going. Um, so the materials I have here is paper and we can either use a sketchbook or you can have a large piece of paper to do this. Um, if you have a big brush at home, that is perfect and you can use a pencil or a sharpie to use. And then I just have ink mixed with water in here and you want um, more ink than water just to make it nice and dark when you're doing this. And so really the point of using ink to do this with the brush is that we can create shapes and silhouettes that can help us get those creative juices going and our imagination going to help us think about what our character can look like for a story or whatever the project is. So to begin with, I'm just gonna dip, I'm just gonna move this over. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush into the ink and I'm just gonna tap it because you don't want it to be uh, too wet otherwise it's gonna run on the paper. And now I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna be really loose with, um, with my strokes here. And again, you don't wanna think too much when we're doing this. It's a very spontaneous thing. And um, the point is that we're not planning our characters out. We're just kind of letting it happen and, and see what we come up with. So I'm just gonna do some strokes here. So again, you can just be nice and loose. And if you don't, um, you know, necessarily see any that are coming at you and they're not intriguing any inspiration. We can just keep doing this process and keep doing more strokes on more paper if we want. So I'm just gonna do a little more. There we go. And so I actually learned this exercise at school and it was really fun. So yeah, you can do this at home, it's really easy. And so now the next step would be that we can look at our pieces of paper here and we can see if anything is jumping out at us um, and if we're starting to see any shapes that are starting to look like characters. So I'm gonna look at these and see if there's anything that I can do here. So for this one, I feel like I can kind of see a hat maybe. And of course, you, you know, ideally you'd wanna let this dry more, but for this purpose, that's okay. And then I can start creating maybe, maybe a face from here. And again, you can just be rough because you're just wanting to get down um, a quick little sketch for inspiration. Um, and then next, maybe this could be, um, this could be, character here. Maybe he's got his arms up like this and maybe this is his body and he's kind of in some dancing motion carrying something on his head and then I'm gonna look at these shapes too and see what we have here. So and sometimes again sometimes uh, stuff you know doesn't come as easy um, when we're looking at it. And again I you know I would probably do this process again because I'm not necessarily seeing a lot of shapes that I can work with that I've drawn here, but that is that is okay because that's a part of the process. And maybe, maybe this is, this kind of looks like maybe a bird with some wings here. Maybe there's several birds. So you never really know what you're gonna come up with, um, but this is a fun exercise. Like I said, I've done this at school before, and it's just a good starting point to get those creative juices going. Um, and we can use this exercise when we wanna get inspiration to create a story or an animation. Um, so it's a lot of fun. So for today's design challenge, I would like to see you guys try this ink exercise from the segment. So this is just an example of what I did. So all you need to do is use paper, 
um, you're gonna need a brush like this, and bigger the brush, the better. Um, you can have a bigger piece of paper as well for this, and you can use a Sharpie or a pencil, and then you can just have some ink um, with some water mixed in that. So I can't wait to see what you guys do and come up with a character using uh, ink and a paintbrush. Ultimately, what I hope you guys took away from this segment today is that this ink exercise can really help us create our characters from scratch or making storyboards, comic strips, um, or animations. So it's a lot of fun. Like I did today, these are the examples that I came up with and I can't wait to see what you guys do. And all you need is um, ink, paper, um, a pen or a sharpie, and a brush. And I just want to warn you that the ink can stain, so just be careful with that. But have lots of fun, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So I'll see you in the next segment.